Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Fury of Dracula. In this game, I'm playing as Dracula, and my opponent today is... Uh, I should get the pronunciation right. Axodus, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. There's lots of X's. <laughs> I'll just say Axodus. I assume that's how the pronunciation is. Um, very nice. In Quincy Channel. Very good. Good, good, good. Uh, Axodus is a fairly new player in our Discord community, and they uh, just, without any prompt at all, just picked Hunters, which is, um, I don't know if they've played many Hunter games before, or they've played the board game or not, I, I have no idea, but uh, I will take this game as seriously as all the others. Um, doing Quincy setup, that's okay. Um, so it means then I have to work around the idea, if I go to Germania or Austria-Hungaria, then they might move across and scan. Um, I am tempted to do a UK start, or I can maybe start close to Seward, maybe. Um, I could do my classic sort of like Barcelona start. I could do the stuff, maybe I might do the stuff in the East against this player, maybe. My classic sort of like, uh, oops, sorry, that's my Facebook, sorry people. I'll turn that off momentarily. Um, my 17 to 56 will form back start, maybe. That could be nice. Uh, oh, Jesus. I'll turn that off. Um, oh, I do stuff in Central Europe. I could do Nantes. Nantes could be nice. I can muck around here for a bit. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just do an Eastern start. Yeah, why not? Why not? <clears throat> Now, what encounters do I have? Oh, I'm Dracula, so I need to actually start writing things in my book. Da, 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 da. All right. Okay, just supplying up. That's good. Not underestimating new player at all. And got a blood transfusion. That's poor luck. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, don't know where Axis is from or anything, but uh, great to see some new players, especially, you know, this, I mean, this you're going to see this way into the future, but this has been recorded sort of middle January. The quite a lot of players joined because of Christmas, and I was kind of worried, like, oh, are these players going to come along, then after, you know, the Christmas holidays are finished, they're going to disappear, but they're starting to play, and that's, you know, keep playing, that's really good. Right, my hand is awful, but that's okay. Um... I'm going to put down bodyguards first, and then I'll see what I can do after that. Um, I don't mind a bodyguards mature, and I think the fact that if they commit a lot of attention to try and stop it, then that's really good for me too. Um, so let's pop down bodyguards. And I got a vampire. Right, I can put that in glats then, if that's the case. Uh, probably won't mature though. Um, I don't often put rumor tokens on things to bait the hunters in. Not in the first week, anyway. Um, I'd further save the for the actual vampire, but maybe I could do some shenanigans, rumor tokens, maybe. I could put something benign in Glatz and force them to go over there, but I don't want to put something like bats. I want something that will actually, like, mature. Oh! Well then. Uh, good job I don't have fog, so at least that's... Uh, I don't have to worry about that disappearing. Let me get my pen instead of my pencil. My pencil is very blunt. Alright, that's no real surprise really. Um, getting rid of a vampire is very good. Um, so seeing my starting hand, uh, Axis might think that um, I don't have another vampire. Or I put down the vampire in 56, so now stakes are going to be maybe not as valuable. Um, so if that's the case, I might be able to do... I can make whole... I can sort of keep all my vampires for later. Um, that could be really cool. Um, I could even wolf form to say 28 and then go back to 22, then 10. Depends if how mean and Gadalming move. If they move away from me, then I might wolf form like towards them and then track backwards towards the sea. And then by the time they catch up with me, uh, I'll be able to go to sea, or I can then wolf form back past in the opposite direction. Uh, we can see. Um... <clears throat> so yeah. I'm not really disappointed they got um, behind the bailout early. Um, 
dogs would also be really good for them. But they don't know where I'm starting. That's the thing, like, who do you put dogs on? <laughs> now, Amina has dogs. That's kind of something I have to work around. I might get Desecrated Soil, maybe. Um... I could put Desecrated Soil in, in 17, maybe. Or maybe, like, in 28? See, a lot of these things get countered by the dogs, and until Mina gets rid of them... Um... Yeah, gonna have to have my wits about me. To play Dracula well, gotta keep wits about you. I was actually saying in an earlier game I was playing against Spencer that, uh, yeah, really come to appreciate playing Dracula, and, um... Yeah, you gotta concentrate for the entirety of the game. Uh, easier to learn initially than the Hunters, but I think, you know, it has a higher skill ceiling. And sometimes you just can't win just because, you know, if, if Hunters are just maxed out with cards, there's not much you can do about it. But you've got to try and... You've always got to try and put yourself in the best situation possible, and then you don't take a lot of early damage and that stuff. But then still, it's, it's always recoverable. Games are always recoverable. Um, as long as it's not too far out of your control. Um, so we'll see. So yeah, I'll just misdirect, go back to Constanta. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to throw down here. I mean, Spy is really nice, but then... Nah, uh, I'm not really like keen on the Spy, actually. I'm not really keen on any of this stuff. <laughs> um, I mean, Mina's probably going to get rid of the dogs. Uh, I mean... Do I put out, like, mob, maybe? Yeah, maybe mob might be the thing to do. Yeah. Oh, I've got a Reckless. Huh. Because especially if I'm, if I'm clogged up, if there's a few couple of hunters here, I might be able to hit them quite hard. Um, so that could be good. I assume she's going to get rid of the dogs eventually, so... I'd be really happy if Gadami moves over to her. Because there's a very good chance. I mean, the mob maturing is not great if they're not in the region, but I can just layer it, it's fine. And I can go back to it later. I could put myself in a position I could wolf form to 17 later. That would be nice. Um, I might... Wow, see, Wolf forming to 28 is really risky, because it always takes Mina to move over, and then I'm screwed. Then if he's really well supplied up with... If Kadami's really well supplied up, then... Okay, normal stuff. Normal stuff. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. I don't know if I want to put the vampire down. I kind of want to see if they have stakes first. I want to kind of hold the vampires. I might do like double vampire in Athens, maybe. I need I need fighter vamps, not aristocratic. So maybe I could put the spy in 28? Yeah, maybe the mob in 17 was a mistake. Should we put Spy then, put mob in 28? Yeah. Not, uh, maybe the best idea. I might still wolf form to 28, honestly. Seeing normal things, seeing supplies and tickets. Um, hmm. Yes, do it. I'm taking a bit of a risk here, they might catch me, but then if they do catch me, like, you know, what's the worst that can happen? 
And then jump to 22, put down... I could put a Desecrated at 22, maybe. I think, I, I think I've got two Desecrators. I'll put one down now to try and improve the encounter and co the encounter economy. There we go. And then the other one I can hold later for when I need healing. Um, the problem is, because Gundalming's on this side of the map, it's quite likely he's going to have Heavenly Host. So... It's very unlikely it's going to mature, but, you know... If I can waste the time for them going to 22, if it's going to mature... I can then either just lead to C, so I get the healing back instantly, and I'm mature it, or I can just maybe like dark hole in place if I'm far away from them. Um, so I get value out of the healing. We shall see. I think it's kind of like it's awkward, you know. Um, I was also thinking about this earlier. For YouTube, I don't know maybe Dracula games aren't quite so interesting, but I think there's a lot of merit to them, and. Um, there's a lot of uh, interesting things I think you can learn from them. Especially, you know, I'm trying to think about what the Hunters are doing. So evaluating risk and reward with Dracula, I think, can be a good thing to learn from. So I'm not... Uh, I'm happy to record both types of games, not just um, Hunter games. I think there's a lot of merit to them. Now, if she moves, I'm a little bit of an awkward situation. I just hope she supplies. The fact she's not supplying instantly is kind of worrying to me. Might be contemplating moving. Mm. Uh, I think it's gonna move. That's a long time to be thinking about supplying. Does she have a hypnosis and she's trying to think about playing it now? I mean, that'd be great for me if they use hypnosis and I'm right beside them. <laughs> That's a really powerful card gone. Um, is it stuck? Oh, the game could be stuck. That's also another thing. What's going on here? Uh, garlic gone. I'll give it like another like 30 seconds and then ask what's going on. Hmm. I could maybe put the rumor token on Constanta to force them to go all the way over. Yeah, okay. Right, okay. I have to hope it doesn't scan now. I mean, if I get found now, is it a problem? I could maybe move to 6 instead of 22. I go 6. And then that gives me more options. I can move back to 10 or go straight to 50. I can walk around this way. There's a few different things we could do. If there isn't a psychic scan, I'll move to 22. Ah, damn. They're trading on Godalming's turn. I was hoping that Godalming would get tickets and then Mina trades. <laughs> yep. Yeah, could get caught here. I'm not, I don't normally do this variant where I wolf him to 20. I normally wolf him to 22. I'm hoping I can maybe catch the hunters where they haven't supplied so much. And if I force them to keep moving in this area, they're not going to be supplying much. So they don't get many events. That being said, in the last game I played against Spencer, I didn't supply that much at all. And um, I ended up getting like two renewed vigors and money trail and CG and hypnosis. I mean, <laughs> and, and two sets of emergencies. So just, you know, sometimes you just the deck is in your favor. Sometimes it's not. It just depends. I got two planned ambushes as well. I mean, the deck was pretty rigged in my favor that game. But unless you supply, you don't know it, I guess. You'll be pretty shocked now when, uh, if it does, it's like this guy's like, oh, you lost, you're hungry. Oh, what? <laughs> Hopefully just get a ticket. I really hope that it just takes a ticket and I can get away with this for one turn. That'd be really cool. Uh, 
Oh dear. Right, okay. Right, I think now because of that information, I'm going to move to six. And I will throw down, I'm going to throw down a um, desecrated soil, and then I might throw like like a wolves into Sophia. No, I'm not going to throw down a rumor token. I think that's fine. The good thing is the hunters don't know exactly where I am. Still don't know where my starting location is. Hopefully misread the prompt, but very unlikely to have. Hmm. Spy and 28, maybe not the best. I mean, you can get to 10 quite easily, but the thing is, like, going to 10 is taking you away from my trail. Ah, ha ha ha. Yeah, I could have been there. Yep. There are times where that happens. Yep. And then, you know, what's my plan after that? I, I guess you'd feel pretty annoyed if you missed that spot. Uh, but this is fine. Konami's not moving away from me, so that's totally okay. So what I can maybe do now is move to like phase 49. Then I can move back to 50 or I move straight to 55. I have a few different options, which is kind of nice. Uh, what would I throw down in 49? A, s a vampire in 49 would be pretty irritating to deal with, because it's not close to a big city. It's at least two turns away from a big city. Okay. Still don't know who has horses yet. I might move next to Mina. I think I'm okay with it. There is definitely a prompt for something, so Renewed Vigor is a bit of a worry, but obviously won't know that I'm right beside her until the prompt triggers. So the question is, do I throw down a walls? Oh no, she has the dogs. So she can cancel the walls. Nah, definitely throwing down a vampire then. I definitely have to throw down a vampire. Yeah, I mean, it probably won't mature, but that's okay. I think at this stage, I'm just going to save my rumor tokens. I could put a rumor token on Klausenberg. I think I want to save them. I, can't, I think I want to try and save them for later. And I can throw down maybe like two in like the end of the second week or something. Um, try and really like, uh, really cause the hunter some problems. Yeah, I'll move next to her. I'm, I'm fine with this. She might have like an escape route or something, but... Oh, another Reckless. Nice. Okay. Um, do I throw down a um, rumor? No. Let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it. If they don't have horses, they're going to take quite a while to get there. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. Nice. The only thing with this, the oh, I mean, Mina could get here in two days, so that's all right. The good thing is these two encounters are not counted by the dogs, so that works perfectly for me. Oh, renewed vigor? No, nope. okay. What's in the discard pile? I had looked at this earlier. Okay, normal stuff. Right. Um, she might have an escape route, but that's one event. Pretty good odds here. Uh, she might beat me up. But if I, I know she's got dogs. And if I look at the combat and I see something else, um, then that's handy. And she's off the rail line. So it's really. She can't get. Unless she has horses, she can't get to Varna. Unless you have Charlie Carriage to go from 53 to 56. Okay. Okay. Oh, he could. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good army could get here with Charlie Carriage next turn. 
Nice. <clears throat> Oh, she's going to roll over me. <laughs> oh no, that's sewered. That's sewered. <laughs> because I was looking at Mina. Okay, so sewered has fast horses and the economy seems pretty good. That's a good move. I like that move. Yeah, I, I do like that move. And then you get to 38 really easily. That's kind of nice. So actually, the fact that the Psychic Bomb went off, it didn't... I lost maybe like one turn from it because of Mina moving forward. Now, is Mina going to move to 53 or 49? If she only has to pass holes and she rolls slow onto me, oof. I can have my way, I think. She's so vulnerable, that's the thing, you don't have to just kill her, you can just bite her and that's enough. Oh, hello. Right, okay, let's find out what you've got. Oh, you have a combat card. Interesting. Oh, use the garlic grief against the reckless. Oh, I'm totally going to try and kill you then. She has one other combat item. Okay, so I can't fang her. Uh, to get the point. I can see why to try and defend from the point, but honestly, I just use the Garlic Grief against uh, Dracula. Okay. Well, this works. Is she going to heavily host me? I mean, if she does, like, I don't actually care, because um, she'll have nothing. She'll be completely defenseless. So, uh, I'll just play like a... Hmm... Why people... Ugh... Let's see what she plays. I need to see my hand first. <laughs> I'm kind of happy it's a garlic reef and it's not a um, like an escape route. Um, again, is it stuck or are you picking? All right, what do I have? Double claws, yikes, nothing really great. Then I'll just mesmerize her, because I assume she's going to escape. Oh, nice, well played. Well done. Um... Yeah, that, that can be quite nice, but then you feel bad if then Dracula like claws you or strengths you. Um, she might play a knife. I don't know what she has, that's the thing. If I know she has a knife, that's pretty good information. Let's see. Oh, bloody hell. Well, I'm just going to play the claws then and just hope she doesn't have a knife. If she has a knife, then well played. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. She takes two damage. I still don't know what this combat card is, that's pretty well played. Um, but I might be able to kill her. That'd be kind of, I mean, I'm not going to get many points for it, but it just slows down the hunters. I mean, does it? You just need one event from it. She's not very well tooled up, but still, you know, it causes problems having to deal with all this. It gives me some points early too, which is not, I'm not going to turn down. Still first week. I could also try to escape his bat, but then I, I'm going towards Seward, and that's not really a good idea. I don't want to lose this vampire. I want this vampire to still be up, so my objective here is not to escape his bat. I want to try and try to kill her, if possible. Don't have your garlic reef anymore. Still don't know what this combat card is. Um. Hmm. 
Right, I think I still mesmerize here. Okay, cool. Right, now she's now we're in the danger zone where I can uh, kill her. Now, do I plot? I think I plot. The worst thing that can happen to me is like a heavenly host or a knife. I take full damage, but then she's so vulnerable, I'll just bite her back. Um. <clears throat> I think I plot. Even if she does a weapon against me, like, I don't care. If she punches me, then fair play. Hey, good, 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 good. Right, this is great. So now I can just do whatever I want. So let's take a fangs. And what I'll do now is I'll play something like the strength, because I think if she has a knife, she'll play it now. Or it could be garlic. It could also be a holy circle. If you're running around with just garlic grieving dogs and holy circle, that's not a great hand. So let's play the strength. Oh shit, she might actually try to escape now. I think she's gonna play a knife. Oh crap. Yeah. Damn. Oh, well, I've lost my plotting. Shit. <laughs> Oh wow, well played, I should have just played Fangs. Wow, that was really risky on her part. Uh, I keep stopping between he and she, I keep using it for the characters, not for the player. Um, especially when I, I don't know the player. Uh, yeah, really risky on Mina's part to have done that, but um, okay, now... Now what do I do? Still vulnerable. I guess I just Clora? Yeah. Because then I can kill her one of two ways, if she doesn't dodge. Oh, she has a crucifix. Oh wow, that's great information for me to know. Oh right, I'll just try and kill her with claws then. Yeah, that's good, like trying to bait out that, but running around with no weapons, uh, not ideal. So probably we'll dodge now. So that's fine. And let's hope I get like a claws or a strength. Otherwise I won't kill her. <laughs> yep, that makes sense. So now she's going to... Can't play dodge anymore. So I can't find her because it's a crucifix. So I just have to hope I get a strength. She could also, oh, could play escape. Oh, yeah. Claws is the best option here because I just kill her. And even if it's great strength, I kill her through that. Yeah, I fucked up the plotting. I just didn't expect to do that. Oh, no claws. I oh, gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Bloody hell. Hmm. Well, if she plays Crucifix, I don't take damage. So then I guess I just escape. I mean, escape is missed. I don't take any damage if the Crucifix is used here. So that's totally fine. Yep, that makes sense how you play that. Damn. Hand was against me. That's okay. If I wanted to, I could just feed and kill her <laughs> in the day fight. I do have to respect the fact that both Gadami and Suda could jump onto me. Uh, what's here? Ah, oh, it's Desecrated Soil, it's not an attacking card. Ah! Hmm. Do, 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 do. 
Damn. Yeah, I fucked up the plotting. I just, I never expected. Because surely in that situation, when you play... I guess I was well playing because, like, surely Fang is so obvious. But then... I just assume there's a knight. Oh, yeah. That was actually really well played. Ah. Yeah, really capitalized on my mistake. Uh, do I hide? Do I feed? Um... I mean, I think I keep going, honestly, because if she walks into anything, she's dead. Apart from this Desecrated Soul, which is a huge shame. That's not an attacking thing. If she's running around on one health, like, that's fine. I can, um... I can put down... What can I put down in 50? <sighs> Nothing that's going to hurt her, sadly. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, because of the fucking dogs. She's pretty much immune to everything. Escaper's bat could have been good. Um, because I could have got to 38. I'm still, I'm losing the vampire. I don't want to lose the vampire. So no, I, f I think I go to 50 here, and then I can go to like 46, 55, 3, 3, uh, hide in 3, I think. These bodyguards are also going to mature, which is really good for me. If she just bumbles into me, then it's even more likely that she's going to die. She's going to stay there for a really, really long time, which is great for me. Um, I mean, Gadami might jump onto me, but like, that's really suicidal. I might just roll down the other Reckless, because I've got nothing else that is really like valuable to me. I don't want her to use the dogs. I want her to keep those dogs and they're still like, they're just going to stay being useless. Let's put down another Reckless. Oh man. Okay, I'll go to throw down one of these hoaxes. In Salonica. <sighs> hmm. I'm... Yeah, we've... Re... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that works. If they use it, I might get some uh, cards out of it. Or they're throwing Hunter cards away. Either way, that's good for me. I guess there was an escape route that was just being traded. Um, that works for me. Yeah, very interesting combination of items. Dogs, crucifix, and garlic grief. Hmm. And then if she walks into 50 and the mob hits her... Yeah, she's taking quite a bit of damage. I could even hide in 50 if I wanted to. And I can maybe throw down like the wolves, and then if Gadami walks into me first, hit it with wolves. And then Mina gets hit by Reckless, I suppose. That's another way I could go about it. It just seems my encounter deck is just not doing what I want it to do to get double vampire into Athens. So I'm just going to throw down the vampire slightly closer. Hopefully Suma doesn't have a stake. I mean, the, I'm trying to work out, like, obviously, the killing Mina is, like, really important because I get, like, two points out of it. Um, but the fact that she's alive, then the fact she's going to have to waste loads of turn healing rather than supplying. Whereas you get put in the hospital, she would just move out and just keep supplying, and then they'll get more good events. So, honestly, like, I think this is really good for me that she's still alive. I know that sounds really weird and kind of intuitive, but the fact that she's now essentially useless... She can't move any- I mean, she's gonna probably move to 59 now, because 59 is a safe place for her to go, because Gadami's there, and there's- I'm not there. That's good, they're now moving away from where 
I am. Uh, this mob, though, is not going to do anything, which is a real shame. Um, so I'll just layer it. There's no point maturing if it's not going to hit anybody. And then it can just stay there unrevealed, and I can go back to it later, maybe. It's tough. You don't want to move Mina backwards, but I think in this issue she's just going to have to go to a big city where it's safe and just to keep supplying. Also, the fact I've done my trail like this, Hunters don't know if I've gone this way up to 49 or at the top way down to 49. Yeah, and it feels really bad doing a, a day action to rest, but I guess... I guess all you could do is like Mina just stays put and just supplies every day and heals every night. I mean that's gonna that's like six turns to get up to full health. But maybe that's the best thing to do? I don't know. Well, at least I got my bodyguards, and that's nice. I, I do like a early bodyguards mature, it can just stay there hidden away. Um so that the hunters can forget about it and also that I can forget about it. <laughs> And it's a nice surprise. I gotta remember, I gotta try and trigger it at the right moment though. When it's gonna be able to be most effective. You don't have to use it the first time. It's like a time. Yeah. At Dawn does before a fight, not the next fight. So I gotta remember, depending on the situation, I might want to use it or not. Spy could be pretty good here. Um, Mina doesn't have a weapon, so she might be holding onto a white one, so I can get rid of that. Um, again, Desperate Soul Mature is probably not going to happen, but I can maybe time it that I get to see when that triggers. I could also go to Italy, and the Hunters might struggle to get in. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I won't stay in place. I like to stay in place in 50, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try and just get these hoaxes down. Um, uh, nope, I want to mature. Uh, do I put a rumor token on Sarajevo? No, I think I'm going to save them. I think, yeah, I think they might come in more handy later. I mean, if this thing matures, I'm going to lose this hoax, so, but, it's okay. I mean, it's rest right now, I wish I'd thrown down the dogs or the wolves here, because Mina didn't walk onto them, but... Sometimes you just can't know that. Oh, Gadami has horses. Oh, right then. Good to know. Oh, where are you off to? Okay, nope. I will, uh, you can search that yourself. <laughs> if Mina walks on to fi uh, 50 and I can do 2 damage with the vampire, uh, with, yeah, with the vampire, but then the mob hits her. Yep. And then I could even misdirect and move back into that space to kill her if I wanted to, but then I've got to be aware of Seward and Kadame. Just be adaptable, unless we'll just wait and see. Still got a bit of uncertainty about the trail. Probably assume I'm in 17, but... Uh, who? Wait, what? Whose turn is this? I'm showing it's Godalming's turn, but it should be Seward's. It's on Mina's portrait. Okay, it's Seward's turn. My UI bugged? No, it has a bugged. Okay. Hmm. 
do have to be careful of the possibility of Seward jumping onto me here. Um, so the question is, do I... I think now in retrospect, that's probably a mistake. I should have hidden in Sophia, because then I could have now moved to Varna and then gone onto my lair in 17. And now I'm kind of trapped here. Ah, double healing. That's kind of nice. Aha! Yes. Um, right. Well, let's think about this. I'm going to layer Varna. So I want something to put into Varna. Maybe something like a wolves? So I'll probably get rid of the rats. Uh, these aristocratics are really not helpful for me. Now, what am I going to throw down? If, are they going to jump onto... Well, they might do, you know. I throw, am I throw away one of the aristocratics? Ah, do I? No, I'll keep them. Oh, no heavenly host. Apparently. Could have it. <clears throat> yeah, this mob's terrible. Wish I, had, I wish I had spy and mob the other way around. That would have been devastating. In this situation, where they all are. Wow. I hope Kadami goes up to take 28, but it also could be... No, it can't be 22. Maybe it will be 28. Seward might be aggressive and jump onto me. Um... Oh. Oh, interesting. Could throw down the wolves into 55, I suppose. What am I gonna... No, I think bats in 55 is better, because I can push him back into the vampire in uh, Sarajevo. I know this trail I'm doing to 3 is very predictable, but... I'm committing a lot of hunters over here, which is kind of what I want. And I can escape to sea. I can even go to Adriatic, go into southern Italy, then leave again. Or I could wolf form to, from Turinian to say like 36. And then I'm really far away from them. I'm not really that far away. With fast horses, I'm like one turn, two turns away. Um, so let's move here. I just got to hope that both Gadami and Sue don't jump onto me. Otherwise, I could die pretty quickly here. But if... But if only one of them does, then that's really good for me. Right, I'm going to have to promote this to a lair. I'll chuck the wolves in. Uh, do I put out a uh, rumor token here? Uh... No, I'll hold him. I hope I don't feel like I'm slow rolling. That's not the objective here. I'm just trying to work out what is the best way to win. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, this could be a problem. Yeah, I could get hit 2v1 here. Yeah, this is pretty bad for me. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Uh, but still, escape is bad. It's pretty good because I get to 56. I go to Varna where my lair is, and I can just sit there for ages. But, like, would he? Would the hunters expect me to be in 55 now? I guess you check 55 to see if I'm going this way. Um, so maybe I should have hid in 46. I didn't really have good encounters. Uh, I don't think you have a stake. The fact you didn't search for a stake in Belgrade, I'm going to keep that hidden. I'll try and bait you into a night fight.
Did she double heal last time? Yeah, she did, she did, she did. Oh, and then they, they traded, didn't they? Oh, so Sue gave away one of his items. Oh, if Sue jumps on me, that's even better then. I was kind of scared about all the speed telegraph, but the fact Kadami moved first, I'm kind of happy with that. What I was really worried about is Steward move first, and then Kadami could jump onto my space afterwards. Okay. Here he comes. Where are you going to? Ah, you're going to check my other thing. Okay, nice. Okay. That works for me. I've got a bit of time then. That works for me. I could even hide in... I could even hide in Valona. And I could then wolf form from Valona up to say like fifty nine. Ah, but they're gonna they're gonna come after me, right? Hmm. The thing I'm really happy about at this point is that the Hunters are only 15 cards through the event deck. So they've only got through like 15 cards and here there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, s yeah, 6 more in hand. So they don't have many events. So that's good for me. So it means kind of whatever I wanted to do, they won't be able to counter it very well. Um, that's the hope anyway. Yep, supplying with Van Helsing makes sense. Van Helsing's here in reserve. So it keep supplying is good. I know you're burning a Dracula event, which is not great, but still now it opens up a slot for Mina. Uh, if Mina is now equipped with something, that means she can deal with the Vampire, then she go and deal with the Vampire. And she probably won't take six damage in the fight. So... Okay. This screams to me that there's a stake. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get a bite out of this. Or yeah, a point from fanging. I mean, could also could still have the crucifix. Oh wait, what? She doesn't have a stake. She's still got the dogs. Oh. What? So, why on earth would you do that? So, could still have crucifix. Could have heavenly host. Hmm. What do I think she has? This screams like a bait to, to play like Heavenly Host against this vampire. Uh, I'll see what my cards are. Um, I'll take it from there. I might not be able to stop this thing from dying. It could also be a knife. And the vampire just dies immediately. If it's a crucifix and I find dies, knife dies. But then if it's a heavenly host. Right, let's see, let's see. It took a long time to do that turn. I'm actually think it's not. Do I play fangs? Oh man, this oh this feels really bad. I mean, 
Or do I play plotting? Is this like a... I mean, here's the thing. If it's a knife, I can't stop it. So plotting just seems like the best idea. Ah, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, I take... I take a damage. Okay. I think now I play like a strength, maybe? I should try and get this vampire out alive. She doesn't have a stake. I just assumed she'd have a stake, the fact she was moving like this. But she doesn't. So... Yeah, I need to keep this vampire alive. So double strength would be really nice, and I can like escape his... Oh, no, I can't escape his mist. I can escape his bat against the crucifix. I might not play the crucifix, so I might not expect me to do that. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Do I have a strength? I don't have a strength. Yikes. <sighs> Bloody hell. Right, if I just play claws then, to get it out of my hand. Having double fangs is not what I want right now. <sighs> Could have plotted now. Ugh. I'm really confused. Um, I really like to get a point from Fang in. Um, I still don't know what this other combat item is, and this that's the thing that's worrying me. I feel really bad if I just fang it and it's just a crucifix. She must still have the crucifix. Might think that I'm going to plot against the crucifix, so I might punch again. So I might, I could fang maybe. That would be good. Hmm. Clearly got difficult decisions to make. That's interesting. Right, okay, so the question is, do I fang, hoping it's not crucifix, or do I plot, hoping... I mean, I think plot is a better idea here. Yeah, I think so. I feel really bad if it's like... I can't stop. I mean, if, if if it's a weapon, I could mesmerize it. Maybe I should be, maybe I should be mesmerizing in that situation. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Awesome. Right. Uh, if that's the case, I want a strength. Right. Okay. Now I find. I mean, this could be a knife, but I don't know it, so. It could also be garlic. Um, yeah, I think I might just fang, honestly, because, like. 
I might get this wrong, and it might be a... I should maybe just be escaping his batting here. Oh, it's a pistol. Oh, good to know. Right, nice. So then I, then I take a da two damage back, right? Yeah. Okay. So, now I know what the item is. I can now proceed accordingly. I can strength now to get two damage. And then I can just like escape next turn because there's nothing to account to escape as bat. Unfortunately, I'm still on two health, but now I know what items there are, I can kind of work around them. But things with crucifix and pistol, you can kind of counter everything. <laughs> so I'll just do strength to get two damage in here. Uh, well, yeah, I want to get two damage in. So yeah, let, let's. I'll cancel. I want to. I want to try and get the, the extra damage in. And now just escape his bat now this turn. Uh, I'm not going to kill her. I might be able to kill her if she plays pistol and I play fangs. But there's too much of a risk that she'll play crucifix. If I play claws, it's in the same situation. So the best situation here for me would be a strength. Because the only way that she survives is she dodges. If I don't have a strength, I'll just escape a spot and keep this thing alive. And again, I'm doing the same thing again. Like, I'm not killing her because I can't do it without risk. But me keeping this vampire alive is doing way more damage. Because I'm having to commit more hunter time to deal with it. And that's just great. Okay, I don't have it, so I'm just going to escape this bat. It's just a 50-50 it's a with what card she's going to play, and I don't want to play that game. I don't have claws anyway. Oh, she all, all dodges, so yeah, I couldn't have stopped it anyway, so that's totally fine. That's fine. That is okay. Dodging was the right thing to do in that situation. And now, <laughs> if Katalvik searches this, it's going to have another night fight. Yeah, we go. Nice. Ooh, interesting. Didn't play it. Whatever it was. Oh, only one combat item. Well, we know we've got fast horses. No heavenly host. If you got a stake, you would use the stake. So is this like... Holy bullets? Or is that a garlic... It could be a garlic reef as well. Um... Pwah. What on earth do I play? Um, I'm going to play strength. On the assumption that they're just gonna, they might just escape outright, and that'd be really well played if that was the case. But I'm gonna guess I'm not going to. Nice. Yep. Yeah, if you punch every first round, then eventually I'm gonna catch on to it. Slow learner, I am. I'm a, I'm a slow learner, but <laughs> eventually I'll catch on to what you're doing. So you need to mix it up. Sometimes you need to dodge. Sometimes you can punch. Sometimes you just escape. Um, you feel bad if you get it wrong, um, but. Right, okay, now what do I do? Um, I think I might plot. Because there's nothing that can stop me. I mean, I could also mesmerize. Uh, there's no heavenly host. Hmm... I don't want to bite him, that's the thing, I want to try and kill him, but I don't really have the tools to do that right now. So plotting would be best, but then if he escapes, I feel really bad about it. So let's just mesmerize. This is where he has a crucifix now. Oh, it doesn't have a rifle. Oh, wow. I think there might be a holy bullets here. I'm going to have to operate under that assumption until I know otherwise. Hmm, that's the thing with Dracula, you don't... You know where the hunters are, but you don't know what they have. So it's all about just bit by bit, step by step, accruing as much information as possible. And then, hopefully, fingers crossed, using it to your advantage later. Um, so now, there's certain things I can do. Oh well. Do I try to get the bite? I mean... 
I'll get a point out of it, so it's not a bad thing to do. I can't kill him based on what I've got, so let's just fang him. Uh, I think that's fine. And it means it stops this combat. Ah, oh, well played. Okay, well that frees up a fangs, so I've got a second fangs I can play. So I'm not going to play claws against a rifle, so I can't kill him. Not really. Uh, not in six rounds, that's, that's far too difficult. See, I'll just fang him. Um, yeah, only one aggressive card it is what it is. Hey! Oh, is this a great strength? Oh, wow. But it still leaves the combat, which is really important. So if there was a rifle with holy bullets there. And the fact now great strength's been used. Um, obviously not ideal. Um, but yeah, great strength isn't ideal unless you're going to just die. Oh, wow. Garlic. Heavenly Host. He has fucking Consecrated Ground. Oh my days. Right. Really big information to know that. That's a really big find. Yeah, I wish I had put a rumor token on this now. Yeah. And the thing is... Oh, do I have a vampire? I could put a vampire in Athens and put a rumor token on it. The Sarajevo one matures. And the Athens one will stay alive. That's really good. That's really, really, really good. Yeah. I mean, this thing might not mature still. I've got to, I've still got to operate under the assumption, but the fact I know what Seward has, I know what Mina has, I know what I think I know what Gadami has, bar one item. This is like really good for me. I have a lot of information. Shouldn't be seeing that. Hmm. That's suddenly a pop that's popping into my head. Because something when I was talking to Roscoe about Hunter events, we definitely talked about Speedy Telegraph. And maybe I should could do a video about um, Speedy Telegraph combos. That could be nice. That's a lot. That'd be a lot of animation, though, on <laughs> PowerPoint. Right. Let, let's pop down a vampire in Athens. I'll put down the aristocratic. Um, I mean, they could counter it, but uh, I think it's I, they're gonna have to commit time to go to it, and I think that's totally fine. Uh, prove cannibal to a lair. Yes. Oh, I don't really want to get rid of the bodyguards. So controversial as it sounds, I'm gonna get rid of the aristocratic. Uh, I won't. Uh, oh wait, I'm going to see, aren't I? No. Uh, let's put that there. Oh, okay, you're finding it in the daytime now. Ah. What was this mystery card that is not being revealed? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Uh, this is a search, so... Fang first. 
Oh, actually, you could have paid rifle. Oh, shit. Is this vampire dead? Oh, yeah, vampire might be dead. If this is a holy bullet. Well played. If it is, well played. Yeah, well played. Well done. Yeah. Had a few as holy bullets, and I didn't respect that. Damn. Well played. Well, that's not too bad, because that's not the vampire I really care about maturing anyway, but still, um, to let it die like that, that's not great. Yeah, I should have um, should have mesmerized. Oh well. At least I did two damage to Kadarming before that, so that works for me. Oh, I hate to see it. I hate to see it, even though I'm Dracula and I'm evil. Oh, not dealing with... Alright, I'm definitely going to get the health back then from this. So yeah, I'll go to see and I'll mature it. Could wolf up back to Baltica. I, no, I got, I got to be... I've got to be really careful here, because CG is still in play. So I mustn't get too cocky and just assume I can fight my way out of anything. Ah. Uh, well, that's not... Yeah. Yeah. So Suid has a heavenly hose, so they got at least two, so they can box me here. These two don't have heavenly hose. Van Helsing might have the other. And if I go to Varna, then I could get trapped by Consecrated Ground. So I do have to be really respectful of that. I have to hope that Consecrated Ground gets used, and then I can um, go elsewhere. Um, yeah, gets used somewhere else, and then I can go back to 17, to that layer. I want to keep this layer up. Constanta. Um, no, I think I'm gonna let you search it. I think that's a good idea. Oh, is this a heroic leap? Are you gonna heroic leap the one in Sarajevo? Might do, you know. I could also... Do I Dark Call and get the health back that way? Have I got a foxy um, aristocratic? Like, that's no, not very beneficial. In some ways, maybe... Oh, shit. Missed a trick there. Maybe I should have done that. I should have ambushed her. I could have pushed her back. Now. Oh, hang on. I could still do it, you know. She's going to go back tonight. Uh, what? Oh, that's Mina. Could misdirect and then go in. Do I do it? Huh. Oh wait. Oh no, she has a weapon. Ah. Huh. I mean, I could push her into me with the bodyguards. I could kill her. Oh, that's an interesting proposition. Oh, wow. Maybe I might do it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to hide with bodyguards. And then I'll hit her with double bodyguards. Then she'll die. Um, I think that I don't need the health now. One health is not... I mean, it is pretty important. But still, I'm going to say yes to the lair. And I can put, like, walls into it. No rumor token. <clears throat> Are 
Yeah, I'm going to push her into me. Not maybe the most effective use of bodyguards, but the fact that I can kill her, I can get three points out of it. Plus, if Sarajevo matures, then that's seven points in one turn. Mm. Oh, are you coming after me? Oh, swing and a miss. Okay, I'll wait. And then do it. I think Sarajevo mature. The sewer might try and deal with it now. Yeah, keep these bodyguards. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I could also push into Sarajevo, but then all it takes is like one bad like combat round for me, and then that vampire di dies, and I need this vampire alive. I want to get the points from it. So I get four points from it maturing, so that's up to six. And then if I kill Mina, that's up to nine then. So then I'm in range where just one vampire somewhere. Yeah, I'll push her into me. Cause she, he knows I'm here. Like, there's, um. My axe just knows I'm here, so it's fine to do this. Uh, ambush with encounter card? Yes. Oh, well played. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, but I can then cancel it here. Got it. Got it, got it. I can cancel it. But no, I want to hit her with this. This is even more likely that she dies. And great shape has been used. Yep, of course you reveal the weapon. Yep. But now she's in a fight with no... I know her weapons. Um... If, if this goes really bad for me, for me, I can feed before I go to sea, but hopefully not. Um... Wow, so many things. I guess I claw first. Yes, good stuff. Right, awesome. And the fact that Full Warned is gone, that's also really good for me. So late, that's nice. I think now because of that, I can. I've bought myself a little bit more time. I can maybe. I can go back to Valona now if I want to. Um, and then I can choose. I can go to see. Um, yeah, I can wolf form from Adriatic. I can stay here, wolf form around here. I have some different options. Because Kadami is delayed, I'll just throw down a Discred Soil, um, so that I can get the health back from that later. Uh, Seward has Heavenly Host though. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna misdirect. I move back to Valona. I'm in very little danger here. If there's only one of them, and I know what Seward has. Uh, promote this to a layer. Nope. Oh, she got put. Oh, that's even better for me that she got put all the way over here. Is that really right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What? One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. The equidistant. I should be able to choose in that situation, surely. Oh, 
You walk onto my lair? Yeah, I'll, I'll hit you. <laughs> I'll hit you with this stuff. He'll stop it with the Heavenly Host, but I'm getting extra cards, and honestly, that's great for me. Uh, no, I'm not going to get rid of anything. Because it's a lair, shouldn't reveal Heavenly Host, but I already know that it has Heavenly Host. And that also that is really good, because I know it has no weapons. Do I have, like, another Wolves or something? No. I, again, I still have to respect the possibility of um, consecrated ground. Ooh, why is Van Helsing sitting here? Is this an excellent weather? Maybe. I think I will form now. Wolf forming's pretty bad because I could get all the way up to, like, say, 59. I'm not going to go to 59 though, because all they do is Consecrate Ground 38 and I'm in big, big trouble. I think wall forming now is really good for me. Um, I think I will form to 56. Do I think I'm Fog? I think so. Yeah, I could trap them in fog for a long time. Has to also deal with Athens. Oh well, okay, can deal with Athens now. <laughs> oh, no. It's so funny how the game can work sometimes. Sometimes you have games where you're all over the board, and other games you're just stuck in one half, like like a tiny portion. <laughs> Baltica is very awkward. It's kind of like the UK too. If you overcommit too much, then Draco escapes, and you're stuck there for ages with really bad connections. Um, then if you undercommit or people get killed, then this sort of stuff happens. Oh shit, where are you off to? Why isn't Shadow Carriage? You could just use horses. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, I mean, already died to a horse, I suppose. Ah, right. Okay, wants to cover the possibility of uh, wolf forming to 59. Yep. I mean, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. And now the Charter Cash has been used, I can now go back to 50. And I'm safe to go back to 50. <laughs> um, I can't remember how Consecrated Ground works. Can you put it in Bucharest? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. So do I just move into Varna? Maybe I do. Yeah, maybe I move into Varna. And see if uh, Gadami wants to move into Varna. What do I put into Varna? Oh, Constanta, rather. Mob. Oh, mob and wolves against. Ah, Gadami. Yikes. That's pretty deadly. I could put down, like, another mob, couldn't I? Oh. That's very evil. But I like that plan, because I'm evil. <laughs> um, sp sp 
Spy? No, I don't think so. I think Mob. Either that or Reckless. I think maybe a Reckless. Yeah, let's do Reckless. And now I'm forcing Hunters into awkward decisions. Do they go to Athens to stop the Vampire, or do they try to kill me? Ah, you're tempted. So I'm just going to hit him with everything. Because I don't think anyone else can get here. One, two, three. Nah, I don't think they got another child carriage. So let's do... Let's do mob first, and then... Hmm. I want to do vampire last. So I guess mob, and then this and this. Yep. Close to see what the supply was. Okay, only had a rifle. Alright. Still only one combat item, so it's only the rifle. Could be holy bullets again, though. Could be holy bullets again. Uh, so I'm going to play a strength. I might just escape. Oh, well played. Well done. All those turns playing Punch first, and now, um, got my comeuppance. <laughs> now, that point would have been pretty vital, actually. So if I kill Kadami, then it's the game. Huh. Yep. How much damage does that actually do? I think five damage to good arming. Ugh. It's okay. Consecrated ground here isn't great because I just go to sea anyway, so I'm not like trapped in. Oh, is that a planned ambush? Do you have escape route? What is this combat item? Oh, event rubber. Huh. It has to be a combat event, because what on earth could it be? I mean, if it's Heroic Leap, you can't play it now. You're going to play Heroic Leap against a vampire, I suppose. I guess it's Heroic Leap. That's the only thing I can think of that is. Um, I'm just going to Fang, because I take my health back. Um, so whatever Gadami does here, this is good for me. I could get hit by five damage with Holy Bullets, but then at least I know it's gone. That happens too. <clears throat> Can I kill Gadarvin? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. What do I have? Two escapes, plotting, 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 strength. Yikes. I guess the only thing I can do is strength. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I guess I strength? I don't really know what the right option is here. I guess so. I'd really like to kill him. I just escape now. Yeah, I, mean, I couldn't stop him because I got no mesmerize. Ah, and I use my fangs. Damn, so that could have gone way better for me. Um, again, I have to be respectful of the fact that Sood can get onto me now. Um, let's see, yeah, that... Oh, wait, he had a stake all that time. Yikes, okay. Ah, uh, I see Sood can get onto me. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, that layer didn't. was not as effective. 
because I'm bad at combat. That did that combat. Those two, both both combats didn't go well for me. Hmm. Okay. I get it, but it's just going to force me to see, and that's I'm totally okay with that. I've got enough health. I can go really far. Um. So yeah, it's just, it's just forcing me to see. Um, well, that's fine. This vampire's gonna mature. So off I go. I can't back. I can't land back there again <laughs> uh, for the easy win. Um, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go to another sea space. But yeah, this vampire's gonna mature. Hmm. Yeah, in retrospect maybe Well. Hopefully I'll be able to talk to Axis after the game. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used Roma tokens. But in this essence doesn't matter because I've I'm, i only need four points to win. I didn't hold off using rumor tokens earlier because uh, access is new. It's actually just generally because I thought it was better for me not to use rumor tokens. Um, unless you're placing them on a really like like first turn, like first encounter vampire, I don't think rumor tokens should be used in the first week. I'm not saying no, as a rule, but in terms of um, in terms of uh, strategy. I think they're better if you hold them. Alright, go to Ionian, and that's the game. So yeah, a little bit of baptism of five accidents, but that's okay. Like, really brave to have picked Hunters. Uh, really good going. Don't misclick this. No. Really tough game, especially the fact I started in the East like that and just caused havoc. I quite like this East and stuff, I can't do it all the time. I oh, well, hopefully uh, by watching this video you've s learned some things in terms of like again how I think about how I play Dracula, especially in a game like this where I've got a little bit more, I'm not as um, stressed out as I was during the league games. I can kind of more calmly explain kind of what I'm thinking and how depending on what the hunters do, suddenly that changes. Oh, I want to do this encounter. Oh no, sorry, no, I want to do this encounter instead. Um, so you got to be flexible and adaptable. That's kind of my mantra now. Just, I, I say that like pretty much every video. Um, Yeah, tough game. Hopefully, uh, we're able to get Axis back on the channel again at some point, or maybe even talk to them and uh, play some two v ones with them or something. That'd be really cool. Um, really good again, as I said, to um, see players uh, who are new who have joined, and then even though the Christmas break has ended, they've uh, they're still playing around. So hopefully, when you see this video in a couple of months, uh, hopefully these players are still playing. If you're interested in joining the community. There's a link in the description. You can check it out. They're all friendly faces. We want to. Well, you don't see our faces, but we're all friendly, and we want to try and uh, help you out. Um, and yeah, so um, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye bye.